the Palmer save. As you can see, we are in February and we are sitting 10th. So we've had a pretty decent month. We've gone 24 games. We've got eight wins, eight draws, eight losses. That's the first time I've seen that. And a goal difference of one. As you can see, Josh Xerxes is our main goal scorer and Bruno Petkovic is our main assist getter. As you can see, though, Lazio have played the extra game on Juventus, but are top of the league with Juve, Roma, and Sampdoria chasing the pack behind with Atalanta and Torino not far back either. In today's episode, we are taking on Sampdoria and Inter. So it's going to be a jam-packed episode. We also have the transfer window to cover. But from the last time you saw us, we lost 6-3 uh, to Juventus. We then went and beat them in the Cup uh, 3-2 straight after, which was a nice result. Then got a nice win against Benevento, drew with Cotrone in a game that we probably should have won. We then beat Sassoulo, got knocked out of the Cup. Then drew, uh, drew. we lost 2-1 to Napoli, but we did play quite well in that game. Beat Udinese, uh, drew with Fiorentina, which was frustrating, but we did get a red card in that game. And then we've just beaten Roma 3-1 who went 1-0 up after a mistake from us at the back. And we did change the system slightly. So as you can see, we've been playing a 3-4-1-2 with two DMs. That's what we'd started with. But then obviously in this game, in these games here, you can see that we sort of flicked it around um, depending on the positions and the subs that we'd made. In this game against Roma, we did go to a bit of a difference. We went to a 3-4-1-2. Um, so I'll show that to you in just a moment, but I think that might be the system hopefully that we're gonna hold on to. We have just tweaked it slightly from that game as well, so I'm not quite sure how it will go, but this is what we're rolling with. So the only other transfer news we went through was we brought in Dion Belho, and as you can see, he's averaging a 7.6, and in three games, he's got four goals. In one of them, it, he did score a hat-trick on his debut, so, he has been playing quite well. He does have an assist and a player of the match to start his career off here at Parma. But this is the side that we're going to roll with to start with today. So we've got Seppi, Valenti, Jacoponi, and Ahmed with Cyprian, who's just come back from an injury as our uh, ball-winning midfielder. And I'm just thinking, is that his best role? Probably not. What about Kuka maybe play that role a bit better? He definitely can. So I'm going to just switch those two around to go Cyprian in that center mid role with then Kurtic in the Mazala role. Um, Mazala attack role. Yeah, that's definitely suiting Kurtic. That's probably the area that we're going to have to strengthen um, in the transfer window next. We do have Nico Armini here on loan just as added depth. And I brought in um, Bartol Barisic as another striker option with four-star potential. He sort of just comes on when... The games are done and dusted. Xerxes is going to have a break. He has been playing really, really well. He's averaging a 6.86, 24 games, 11 goals. So he's pretty much getting one every second game. Petkovic, this is a new role for him as well. It does look like the deep line forward on attack will suit him. So we'll see how he goes. Uh, Pazella and uh, Martin now on the left have been a really, really good combination to have for us as well. So we'll see how we go here against... A very, very good Sampdoria side. So, if you haven't figured out already, we are live on Twitch at the moment, uh, at Paulie29. So, if you do want to catch any of the Palmer save, then make sure you come over to Twitch so you can watch it live with us and have your input on the save. I also need to thank Mr. Shadow, who has been a long-time viewer of ours on the, on the stream, he has come up with a new thumbnail and intro for us. So uh, make sure if you are in the stream that you send your thanks to Shadow for that help to the stream and the channel. And I don't know how Petkovic has just missed that chance. That is an absolute sitter that we needed to take advantage of. So that's quite frustrating that we haven't taken advantage there. But Cyprian slowly gets to the ball. Finding Ahmed, come on boys, can we just keep knocking the ball around, wait for that opportunity to pounce. So I, it's interesting, I'm looking out for Petkovic's movement as that deeper line forward. And as a strike and a half from Kurtic, but we haven't quite got there, which is not ideal. But here we go, can we find that opening goal? Cyprian, Petkovic, what a ball, Dion 1-0. There we go, so I want to quickly see that spacing from... 
Petkovic because I think him dropping deeper drew the defenders sort of a bit more forward, which allowed the space for Dion to run in behind. Let's have a look here. Cyprian, Petkovic drags the centre back there, and that's where that hole opens up. So that's what we, the kind of things that the stats aren't going to show us. That's what we need to be looking for to see how that has an impact on the team. And that, ideally, is the exact way we want to play. We want the ball on the ground. We want players moving in and out of space. And that space created an opportunity for us to go into. So I'm really, really liking where this team's going at the moment. We just need to try and qualify for Europe so that we'll have some money to invest in the side. And that's, a, that's the other way that we can attack in this system as well. That was very, very direct, um, which would have been a nice way to go 2 new up against Sampdoria and if you told me at the start of these two games that I've got the potential to take six points from third and fourth I would have told you that you were being a bit silly and a bit over ambitious but if we can walk away with three points away from home here it's going to be a very very good start to the month of February and March transition we do have some tough games coming up obviously we've got Inter next which I'll show you and then I reckon we've got Torino who are sitting sixth after that game as well so the games don't get easier and it looks like we've given them a chance and it's, oh, it's two games in a row now where we have just handed teams goals from us being silly at the back so what's happened here so it was Ahmed this time it was Seppi oh I can see what he's doing the ball wasn't on the ball's there why is he not just dropping it short there that's frustrating. I'm not happy with that. I just want to quickly see what's he set to as his distribution. Okay, I'm going to put him as distribute to centre backs because that's frustrating. He's trying to pick out Cyprian and he's only met the attacker. And again, that's their only shot on target. So look, if we go in one all, it's not the end of the world. We've been the better side here so far. I'm pleased with how things are going. It's one mistake once again and we've got enough firepower up front to hopefully alleviate that goal. So here we go, Cyprian in that centre mid roll finds Dion, that's a foul day. Thank you very much, Rev. And I don't know who our free kick taker is. So Cyprian steps up for it, hits it into the wall, gets it back from Petkovic, holds the ball up. Can we win this ball here? Well done, Martin. And it's the end of the highlight. Here we go, come on, boys. We are in desperate need for three points. Got to keep that pressure up with those sides chasing the European football. We've gone really direct there, and I've got it set as shorter passing, so I don't... Another mistake. <sighs> this is all avoided if we're not playing the long ball there, though. Like, There's no need for Cyprian to play the long ball out. That's what I don't understand. So we've just gifted them two goals there. Long throw goes nowhere. And this is where it's frustrating. I just don't... I think we're just we're lacking that quality just to match it with the big teams at the moment, and that's understandable because we're predicted to be second bottom. So the fact that we're pressuring and we're pushing for European football is amazing in itself, um, but it's just annoying when it's individual errors. That's I can deal with individual errors because then we've got guys like Dion who just turn up and start scoring for fun. So if we can just score more than we can see then we're going to be doing all right that's how i'm looking at it at the moment so here we go can we find a third can we try and walk away with three points can we tighten up the defense and we've got a lot of work to do this transfer window coming especially if we can qualify for europe with this squad then we're definitely going to be able to invest that money if not i think next season it's going to be all loans um Hopefully with options to buy, uh, because I'd like to start piecing my sort of future team together. But end of the day, if we need some loans just to get us to that next level, then that's what we might have to do in order to get the money to bring in the players we want. Because defensively, we do leak goals. Uh, so we might have to look at loaning in some better quality centre-backs. That's where my mind is sort of going first. Um, and then we'll go from there. So... There we go. Kurtic puts us 3-2 to the good. That is exactly what we needed. Let's have a look at that goal again. So a long throw in from Conti. Up we get. Kurtic is there. Flick on header. Thank you very, very much. Sampatori have had one shot on target of a 0.45 XG and have scored two goals. Conti, long throw. Looks for Kurtic again. Doesn't find him. Can we just not concede? Does this highlight result in us conceding? That's what I'm worried about. Cater 
Oh, God. Good save, Seppi. That's all we need. All right, time to make some subs. So, I reckon we're going to go Pizella on the left. We're going to go... Whoop, why is Xerxes there? And we'll go Karamoa on the right. What's Dion? Dion and they can stay on. They can all stay on for now. Two subs is fine. Let's go. Come on. Can we find a way to just not concede here? Well done, Seppi. Does he look to go quick or is he going to go to centre backs? And that's probably the best result, having no highlight whatsoever for us. Let's just get to the 70th minute at 3 2. That would be ideal. Can Draver, Seppi, decent enough save. Here we go. Come on. Let's go, please. We need this result. Can we deal? We've got three centre-backs there. We should be able to deal with it. Valenti does. Kendrava steps up. Adrian. Is that a yellow card? Or is that just a good... I think it's just a good foul. We'll take that. All right, Sampadoria really starting to press forward now. Kertic does well. Dion's dropped really short there, which is interesting because Petkovic is the deep line forward. Karamoa uses that pace. Can he beat one? Finds Kurtic off the post. Carpazella keeps it alive. Cyprian dropping in the middle. Kuko can't lose the ball there. There we go. Good job. And again, it's Petkovic dropping into that like number 10-ish role. It's almost that nine and a half. That's what I'm going to call it. Not quite a number 10. Not quite a number nine. He's kind of in the middle. And it's time to probably make another couple subs. I reckon... We're going to bring the young midfielder on here. Young Simon, who hasn't got the best potential, but his stats are quite good. So I'm going to trust in him and hope that he sort of grows a bit more. Kurtic is struggling as well, so we'll bring Kafaro on. And then we'll save one more sub for the centre-backs. Here we go. Come on. What have we got? 11 minutes. Can we hold on? This would be a massive three points for us if we can hold on. Petkovic, Kafaro, poor ball. Valenti gets there, though, and does brilliantly. Cyprian finds Karamoa into Petkovic. Kafaro. Oh, Dion. How does he just... I don't understand how Dion is scoring this many goals. This is an absolute... Just, I don't get it. I genuinely do not understand how this kid is scoring this many goals for us at such a young age in a competitive league. He is just stepped in in January and gone, that's all right, lads. I'm going to power us to being potential European powerhouses. That's how I'm seeing it. If we get him, Xerxes, Petkovic all firing at the same time, this team has goals. We just got to figure out how to get a defense working with Palmer, and then we're going to be flying. That is how I see this whole thing. I need to look at his traits because Dion is dropping deeper than the deep line forward. I want to have a quick look. Where is he? Dion. What's he got? Not one player trait. He's playing as an advanced forward. What are his instructions? Where are we? Match. Pass it shorter. Take from me. Run wide with the ball. Roam. Stay wider. It's got nothing there about dropping deep. I don't understand. He's dropping so deep. And I don't mind. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But he's dropping so deep to pick up the ball. All right. We're going to take Jacoponi off because I can't afford to lose him. And we're going to bring Bruno Alves. No. We'll bring Armini on. Why not? I trust Armini. We're two goals up. All right, let's go. Come on, lads. Let's hold on. Four minutes. No more silly mistakes. Karamola, what a touch. Dion slides Pazella. He's been good for a goal lately. On cue. Look at that. 5-2. What a turnaround. This side just scores goals. This side loves scoring goals. Yep. Bring Nico Armini on, and we are ready to move on to Inter Milan. So... Can we find a six? This would be a big confidence booster if we can get a six. Valenti off the post. Oh, I thought it was there as well. Come on, lads. Let's finish it off. Let's ignore that. Kafaro has found probably his role back in the team now that we've gone away from having a number 10 and two ball-winning midfielders. What a ball to Dion. Oh, he's offside. I think he's offside. We're going to speed it up. Everyone's setting up. It's disallowed. That was such a good ball, though. How far offside was he? Miles offside. Oh. It didn't even check him. It checked him. He was even further offside. But anyway, doesn't matter. There we go. Couple minutes to go. Roll through it. No more highlights. Oh, one more highlight. Let's finish it off. Oh, Nico. Whoops. That's still on a bit fast, isn't it? And there it is. 5 2. 
monster result for us after being one new up and then going two one down. I'm very very I'm very pleased. Who got the goals there? Did I just was that a hat trick for Dion? Another hat trick for Dion. Kurtic and Pazella getting involved in the goals and. If he's going to just randomly score hat-tricks for us and get assists, I'm more than happy with that. So you are going to see us for the next game, which is going to be against Inter. Back at YouTube, not a whole lot has changed other than we've got Pazella, in, uh, Pazella is suspended. We've got Martin who's injured, which is frustrating because this season's only played 11 games, but he's so good and I want to buy him. Um, and we can buy him for like 4 mil, I reckon, in his contract. So we've got 3.95 option um, there. But this is the side that we're going to roll with. So Valenti, Yakponi, Ahmed with Cip uh, Kuka, Cyprian, Kurtic, Botius, Karamola. Dion starts again over Xerxes. He's already grown. What's his progress? I, I can't even show his progress because he hasn't, oh, that's his attributes. he hasn't been here long enough. But I reckon he's already gone up half a start since he's been here. Because he's scored seven goals in four games and averaging an 8.15. He is absolutely flying at the moment. So let's see how we go. This game is absolutely massive for both sides because Inter are really, really struggling too. So all we've done is we've changed the wingers. We're ready to go. Their team is Handanovic, Hakimi, Skriniar, Bastoni, Damian, who's actually contracted to us. William Carvalho, Brozovic, Stefano Senti, Perisic, Sanchez and Lukaku. This is a very good side um, for us to be versing with our second game in the new system. So they're playing a 4-3-3. That is something I don't see Inter do very, very often on FM. They're normally like a 5-2-1-2. A two, two. Oh my God, okay, I forgot that was from the penalty thingy, whatever it was. All right, that should be better. There we go. All right. So we're playing with our rolling midfield three once again um, and with the deep line forward with Dion up front. So hopefully the boys have figured out that this system might work. Oh, what a flick on. I can't believe how good Dion's been for us so far. This is actually beyond a joke how good Dion Belcourt has been since arriving at Parma. And hopefully we've found an absolute gem that will either stay with us for European glory or will make us a whole lot of money for us to reinvest in the squad. That's how I'm looking at it. But here we go. Cyprian, Kuko. We actually, and the one thing I forgot to mention earlier in the episode, in the transfer on deadline day, I know, just after deadline day actually, we've arranged for Hannibal from Manchester United to join us on loan next season. So I thought it was for this season, but it's for next. And once again, as I mentioned in the last game, it's just defensive mistakes. That's the difference for us at the moment. If we can eradicate some of these defensive mistakes, we are going to be a much better team. So it's off the goalkeeper, Seppi, who has been good for us um, in the more recent stretches of games, but just a big mistake there. What a challenge from Valenti, Brozovic, Damian. They're just lining up though, aren't they, now, Inter? We need, better, we need better defenders. So we know Ahmed's going to turn into a good defender. Valenti looks like he's going to be an all right defender as well. We're just missing that third key centre back, so we might need to look at bringing someone in on loan, maybe with an option to buy for the year after, or we might just need to loan in a couple centre backs just to have in the rotation to make sure that we're set to go. And we probably do need another goalkeeper as well. I don't think Seppi's our long-term goalkeeper, as Lukaku puts that wide, which is quite surprising as well. Going to encourage the boys one more time, I think, just to get them on side, so they're all looking happy. Regardless of where Inter are in the league, we knew that they were going to be a challenging game as well. But Petkovic needs to try and burn past or just try and force a ball there. So it looks like Carvalho sort of drops in as that third centre-back when when they have the ball as well. So it looks like the full-backs are really committing forward. So it's almost a three-at-the-back system for Inter too. So I'd like to see what role he is playing. But there we go. Bodhi is clear. Dion's on his bike. I see we've got Karamoa. On the far side, streaming. He can't find him, though. He can Dion. He just holds the ball up well, though. Oh, Bodhi has sent it out for a goal kick. Come on. We need to just find a way back into this game. Here we go. Skriniar, Handanovic goes long. Up we get. Don't... Oh, the centre-backs have to win that header there, surely. Against Perisic. Ivan Perisic 
down the wing. Good ball up to Lukaku. Well dealt with Jakoponi. Kurtic doesn't do much there. Long ball now. It's starting to look a bit like tennis here, the way the ball's just moving so quickly from right to left. Here we go. Perisic driving down their right wing, only as far as Valenti. This is where we've got to keep the ball here, though. This doesn't have to go long. I don't know what... I've got to see what Cyprian's... To, I need to see what's with Cyprian because he's the one that keeps playing the real long, direct passes. So I wouldn't mind seeing either what are his traits or what is on his... So he's got to get further forward. I want... Yeah, shorter passing. Take fewer risks. And he can press. He can get further forward. That's fine. What's his traits? Comes deep. Dictates tempo. That's why... I don't like that. Okay, we've uncovered something. We have uncovered something. I don't like the fact that he tries long-range passes. Okay, long-term, I don't think we buy Cyprian. I don't like that. I want to try and play a more possession style, and he wants to play killer balls in behind all the time. Don't like that from my central midfielder there that's been told to pass short. So he's only going to stay with us for this season, I think. I don't think he's not going to fit into my plans for next season. It's a bit unfortunate because he's a good player, but if he's going to keep spraying balls up to the strikers when they're not set because we don't have anyone to knock it down to, then he's only going to hurt us, then help us. Oh, that was a great ball when he just got blocked off it by Skriniar. I thought Dion was through there for his eighth of the season already. Lukaku, that's what I thought Dion was going to do. But that's all right. Seppi does well. Come on. What have we got? We've got enough time. There's enough time for one more highlight, surely. Here we go. Encourage the boys. Are we going to get there? We're not going to get there. All right, let's go. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Let's get back out there. Let's encourage the boys straight away. Got to try and find an equalizer here. And this 4-3-3, I'd love to see their roles that they're using because they've got like actual wingers playing. Damien's definitely an inverted fullback with Ericsson on one wing. If we can win this ball higher, then that would be fantastic. What a ball to Ericsson. Oh, my God, out the back. Bang, chip, 2-0. Wow. Assist for Handanovic as well. And I think Inter are just going to start flexing their muscles just a little bit too much for us. Uh, we haven't really done a whole lot in this game. Um, can we find a way just to get one back so that we can try and be competitive? That's probably the goal here. Hakimi, Brozovic, Perisic. Just look at the names that they've got. I don't understand how this team doesn't do well. Lukaku, 3-0. That is all she wrote. Botius is going to come off because he's not really a left winger. And we are struggling in that position. Here we go. Let's go. We've had one shot on target. I've got JS reckoning that Sean Dye should sign Cyprian to play those long balls for Burnley. Look, he'd probably fit in their system, the way that like Barnes chases down those balls. Wow, this is a training session for Inter. We're... In Struggle Town, Luby, I think we're just getting outclassed. This is just the quality difference. There's nothing else other than the fact that Inter are a quality side um, and they are absolutely flexing their muscles. So we can't be too disappointed. At least we have to see one really good win from the lads finally on YouTube as well. So it's not just random results um, that you guys get to see in the updates in between the big games. Uh, but I'll try and show you some different teams. So hopefully next episode we are going to see us take on... Atalanta and somebody else. Can't remember off the top of my head who it was. Um, probably Lazio because we haven't seen Lazio yet either. So we'll probably go Atalanta and Lazio. So again, it's really going to be an episode of tough games, but I'll be able to fill you in in the meantime. So if you do want to see how the save goes, I would be recommending that you jump over to the stream, uh, which is just at forty twenty nine on Twitch, so you can get to watch some of the smaller games happening live and have your input on the save now with that being said we need to i think this is going to be a game for bartol barisic to play up front we'll bring grazi on what's that three subs we'll keep one more up our or we'll keep one more set of subs up our sleeve could save seppi we need to start probably compiling a book for transfer targets for us as well i think so i think we're going to commit to the three one four two as our system because we do have the majority of the team sort of put together we just need to figure out what we're going to do with our defense i reckon and our left wing that's probably another that's another worry position caramel just needs to that's the difference 
when we do dumb things like that in front of our own goal, it leads to goals for our position. When they clear it into us, it goes straight to Handanovic. That's annoying. Hakimi, good save again, Seppi. Come on, lads. Let's encourage them. I don't think we're going to get three goals, but we might be able to get two. That's how I see it. Sensi, ball in, dealt with. We've got absolutely no one there chasing it down, though. There we go. Good challenge. Don't tell me we got injured. No, we've only had two shots this whole game as well. That is very unlike us. Cyprian. Oh, who was that? That was Martin, wasn't it? Damian Eriksson. If he still scores being injured, I was going to say. Ball in. Valenti deals with it well. We're just going through the motions at this point. 15 minutes. We're down by three. They've made, what's that? Kolarov. Ashley Young. That is like Premier League throwback central signings there. Here we go. Kolarov. Long throw. If they're going to score, I want it to be an absolute Kolarov thunderbolt and not an Ashley Young getting a tap in. All right. Cyprian is struggling. He's probably going to start not playing as much for us now that I've realized is... Um, oh, I can't make another sub now, can I? God damn it. I knew I should have done that. Yeah. God damn it. I just wasted a sub. I didn't waste a sub. I didn't utilize five. That's my fault. So I think Cyprian's going to roll to the bench. He's not going to stay with us. That's probably the big thing I've learned from this. Um, it's been unfortunate, as I said earlier, just because his stats are really good. But you know, that trait's just not what we need so he can go back to Nice unfortunately um, I'm not going to be able to untrain that tactic so that's a very unfortunate line what do they have to bring Lataro Martinez on for they're already winning 3-0 I don't care what other games they got going on there's no need to bring on Martinez when you're 3-0 up unless obviously they're trying to get fitness into him but we have been absolutely smashed from pillar to post in this game barely created anything do we get a goal to walk away with? We don't. It's a goal kick. That should be all she wrote. And that is all we have time for in this episode. So I'm far from pleased with the result. The boys mostly understand that, I reckon. And that is where it ends. So we end in 11th, but we are probably going to be four points or so back. We've got plenty of time to... Uh, have a look at getting into the European scene for next season. The next few games are tough. Torino, Verona. You're going to see us for Atalanta and Lazio before we head into maybe Benevento and Crotone. That'd be a nice way to finish the season. Depending if we're chasing European football, I'm not sure what I'll show you. But if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you come over to Twitch. Make sure you join the Discord as well. All the links are all over the place, all through Twitch and through the YouTube channel. So make sure you get involved. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Alrighty. That is where we leave it for tonight, I reckon. I'm trying to think whether... I don't think I'm going to be playing a whole lot. So hopefully... It should be here. I might play maybe these two games tomorrow. Maybe off stream. We'll see how it goes. Um, who's on? Is anyone on? Chivup's on. All right, that's where we'll go. We'll go and see what Chivup's up to. Anyway, let's have a look at Dion one more time. These guys are freak. How's he only four star potential? How's that not gone to five? He's already playing for those the best player in the team. What a joke. He's a f he's mental. But anyway, let's go. So thanks for hanging out, JS, as well. If I do play, I'll update it in the um, Discord. So no need whatsoever to panic. Now, how do I get his name? Probably that way is the best way. Let's go. Let's copy that. Let's do that. Let's go there. We need to do that first, which I do. Boom, bang. All right. Thank you very, very much for hanging out. And that is all we've got time for.